we're going to talk uh, today a little bit about uh, calibrating the pH meter. This is a HANA pH meter that we use at Friends of Casco Bay. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that because we like to calibrate these meters before every time we use it so that we know that when we go into the field, they're going to be accurate, they're going to give us an accurate measurement, and, uh, and we can justify that the data that we collect with these are going to be credible. So to calibrate this uh, pH meter, we have uh, the meter and we have a calibration solution, and the, there's a variety of different calibration solutions. This is a 7.01 calibration, which is sort of a neutral pH. Uh, there's also a a solution that's a, a 4 and a solution that's a 10. And we like to use the 7 because it's sort of in the middle of the scale for pH. And it's fairly close to what we measure or what we see in the ocean, which is typically um, around 8 uh, or the upper 7s for pH. The techniques for calibration are to take the packet and <clears throat> we'll kind of open it with a pair of scissors. This is, again, something you can do at home. Uh, you want to do this in the comfort of your kitchen as opposed to being out on the rocky shore where you're going to do your testing. It's a little bit easier. But open up the packet, and we'll take off the cover for the meter. And on the meter, there are two sensors. There's a black sensor here that has a glass uh, probe in the middle that actually measures the pH. The other sensor that's guarded here is a little shiny one that is a temperature thermistor. And the temperature thermistor will actually record the water temperature. As w and so this meter does water temperature and pH at the same time. The black cap that covered the probes has a small sponge inside. And the idea is to keep the probe wet at all times so that it works properly. Uh, so that we don't contaminate our calibration solution, I'm going to take a little towel and wipe off whatever dampness there is on the probe. And we'll put the meter down in the packet. There's a little bit of fluid in there that is a known pH of 7.01. And shake it around a little bit. And we're going to turn the meter on by pushing the left button when you go to do the calibration and when you're going to go to use the pH meter, the only button on the face of this meter that you're going to want to use is the one on the left. You can ignore the one on the right-hand side. That actually changes the temperature thermistor from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Uh, so we'll push the little black button on, and it will read battery first. Typically, it's around 100%. These are new pH meters that have new batteries. Uh, it's something we'll also want to keep an eye on if the battery percentage goes down uh, lower than 60%, then we know that it's time to change the batteries. Then it will start to read, give you a number up here that is a pH number, um, and then underneath it is the, what is the temperature of the water or the temperature of the sample in here. We're not too concerned with the temperature of the sample right now. We're just going to calibrate it. So the steps to calibrating it are we're going to hold... We're going to push the left button in once and hold it. And on the display, it will say off. And then in a second, it will show cal, the letter C-A-L in the bottom. Once you see the letter C-A-L, you take your finger off the left button, and it will start to uh, start its calibration, which uh, it takes a few minutes to do it. The numbers sort of flash a little bit, and then... Um, it will go from uh, 7.0, and then it will say uh, it will want you to switch to a different solution. I mentioned before that you can calibrate with a 7, a 10, and a 4. So it will then go display a 4. Uh, when it displays the 4, you push the button again, and it will say OK, which means, OK, it's accepted the 7 calibration. So I'll just do that quickly here. We're going to hold it. It says off. And then it says cow, take my finger off, and we'll wait for a minute. And uh, we'll keep an eye on this number up here. It says 7. We're going to wait until that switches to a 4, which means that the meter is going to say, oh, I want to use a 4 calibration now because I like the 7. So we'll just wait. It takes a couple of, it takes about a minute or so for it to get happy. 
change to four. We'll push the left button once. Down at the bottom it said OK1, and now we know that it's OK. It's been calibrated to this solution. You can take it out. And uh, these are typically good for a day, 24 hours. Our sampling protocol is that we'll collect a sample once in the morning around 7, and then we'll collect another sample in the afternoon around 3. So this is actually good for the whole day. You can calibrate it once in the morning, and then again before you go out in the afternoon at 3. So this has been calibrated, and we would put this in a kit and head off to the sampling site.